Hello guys. <clears throat> Hello guys. Hello guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, weekend shave. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, it'll probably be Sunday night before I upload because the signal, Wi-Fi signal is such here that it, well, doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. So, all I can do is record a shave. I'll get on tomorrow evening sometime and I'll upload it there. <sighs> I'm in a, a place called Bosworth which isn't too far from the uh, Bosworth Battlefield in the Midlands. I think it's just on the uh, Leicestershire border. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it is though. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to do a vintage shave today. A vintage shave. Now I've got this, uh, I found this set in a uh, antique shop in Folkestone. Would have been, ooh, back end of last winter. And it's uh, a gem. A gem travel kit obviously there's the razor nice and shiny obviously antique but this hasn't been used much you know very very little very very little use if any comes with these uh two blade packs you might say they're a bit black for blades but uh remember it's a gem razor see the name there ever ready ever ready razor takes the gem style blade See, two boxes for blades and two of these storage tins. You could use that for salt and pepper, couldn't you? Look, hey, eh? oh, there's an hole at both ends. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, two little cases. And again, I don't think that's been used. It's two of them. Obviously, age is taking its toll. Now, in the, uh, just fl flick it open like that. Just be careful getting this blade out because it's tricky. And in there, I've got a brand new gem blade. Now, if you've no experience of these blades, don't make the mistake of buying paint scrapers because they're called gem. They look very, very similar with a scrape and paint for artists and stuff. So I should imagine that'd be rather uncomfortable if you got one of those. That's what I'm going to just make out the name on the uh, spine here. Gem, might be a bit tricky to see. No, I think we're there, I think we're there. Never used one of these before, guys, so uh, I don't even know I'm loading the blade properly myself. What I'm doing is, oh, there's the inside of the razor. I'm just dropping the blade in until that spine hits the back. Close it, snap it shut, and check the alignment. That looks pretty good. Good to me, that alignment. Can you just make that out there? Now, the edge of that gem blade is very, very close to the end of that comb. So, I think this is going to be a mild shave. So, for today. There we go. Soap and splash. And it's the Phoenix and Bow interlinked. There's the soap. There's a splash. Yes, America, they can do nice fancy labels in the UK as well. There's a soap. And there. I, I love this scent. I didn't read the scent notes when I first when I first bought it. So I was thinking, what does it remind me of? And it's like uh, honey and porridge. It's nice, sweet, woodsy. With a little bit of citrus. So I'll just read you the notes now. So I, I like doing that. Uh, I hadn't checked the notes when I got the soap. So I was just basically, what does it smell like in my nose? Okay, what does it smell of? A distinct scent inspired by the interconnectedness of nature. Interlinked is a rich and full accord. It has top notes of citrus, a soft black pepper heart, opulent musks, and a smooth bottom of warm woods. It is a versatile scent that can be enjoyed any time of the year. And it is a very nice scent. Brush for today, that's gonna to be the uh, UK Wet Shaving Society. Seems that's made by Alpha Brushworks, and that is 
God, sorry, your name's just escaped me. <laughs> I'll think of it later. Okay. Now, a really, really strange one in here. This is the wash basin. I don't know if you can make it out. Just there, but this is the wash basin down to my right. So the wash basin is actually behind me. There's no mirror there. It's a sloping, uh, a sloping wall. The mirror's right in front of me, and also right in front of me is the toilet. Yeah. So I'm talking to you now, between you and me, about the toilet. Now that could be handy if should I be taking short while I'm talking to you, because no, nope, the camera doesn't go down that far. But uh, yeah, so toilets between us. So it's a weird one. Get that brush in to get some uh, water in. But yeah, so uh, not a three-day job at the moment, and yesterday was a bit was a bit uh, bit out of the ordinary for me. I picked up some people from the city of Sunderland in the northeast of England. I'm going straight into the pocket of my bowl because it's a big bowl. There's lots of room in there. Let's give it a shake out. Then he picks up and oh. About four and a half cent strength. Yeah, picks up in the city of Sunderland. So I've got these passengers on. And then heading towards the uh, city of Middlesbrough. Was it a town on Middlesbrough? I don't know. Anyway, off the pops. So I'm just making my way out of uh, Sunderland. On a 40 mile an hour road. Not a very wide road. I looked at my... For those who don't know, I drive a tourist bus, tourist coach. I looked in my mirror, my offside mirror, and I see this little car, little white car, coming up at speed. But surely that's not going to try and overtake me. Yeah. It's coming to overtake me. Now, in front of us, oncoming, heading right towards us. Car, pick up truck. This car was trying to overtake me. They're not backing off, they're still coming. By this stage, I'm off my accelerator just to uh, allow this idiot driving this car a few more, maybe a split second to react. They didn't, they just kept flooring it. Uh, Realised they weren't going to have enough. Space in front of them. So then the idiot tried to shove me, the coach, tourist bus, out of the way. <laughs> As a result, it bounced off the front of my coach. The car driver was still accelerating, talking away and just loading away at the same time. The car driver must have carried on accelerating. Lost control, bounced off me, bounced into the side of a, uh, a Nissan pickup truck, bounced off the Nissan truck, the engine flew out, the engine was bouncing towards me before the car finally uh, came to a stop up against the fence. Yeah, so that's what happened yesterday. Just gonna scoop that out. Got a little spot there, I can feel it. So, uh, might be a touch of blood. There again, I don't know how efficient this razor is. I don't think I've even seen a, a YouTuber use one. So it's all new. It's so obviously, yeah, right there, I can feel it, it feels really sore. I had to wait for the uh, police, the ambulance, which took over half an hour. Paramedics. That's. Oh, very comforting scent. So that work as a source of appreciate for me. Very sparse bathroom. Now this is a nice, rich uh, soap thus far. Before I've even lathered it, 
But I did load quite heavy because I was nasty in the way there, wasn't I? Hit the tips. The quarter, dip the tips for the left hand quarter, dip the tips for the bottom right quarter, and dip the tips for the bottom left quarter, and scrub. It's just the way I like to uh, do things, guys. It's my little routine when I do face lava. This is a very comforting, uh, soothing scent. Not in your face, not overpowering. It's just very, very nice. Mmm. Does it remind me of food? Honey porridge. Honey porridge. Doesn't taste like that though. Okay, my first ever use of uh, an Ever Ready Gem Razor, brand new gem blade. Little handle, very short handle. It's uh, not that good for grippiness. So, first ever go. Let's see how it goes. That sounds good actually. And I got the angle straight away, I thought. That might be a bit of a struggle. But it feels very comfortable. Just wish it was closer to this mirror. Anyway. This is weird. Struggling to get right under the nostrils. It's a big head. And the blade is. Yeah. Anyway, the police turns up, does the interview and all that. It's quite evident that the uh, police are quite happy with me. I had the old uh, breathalyzer, told them what happened. Now this woman, yeah, it was a woman, guys, driving like an absolute lunatic. She's telling the police she was overtaking me and I deliberately accelerated to make life awkward for her and that I clipped their car. With me, eh? <laughs> yeah, so that was, uh, yesterday's little adventure. And am I liking this razor? I am actually, it's, uh, it's something different. Feels nice. And I say it's my first time of using the gem blade. I wouldn't say it was as sharp as a, a Kismet blade, but that's probably not a very fair thing to say because I'm using it in totally different circumstances here. Because I do have a safety guard on this razor, safety bar. A little weeper. Yeah, I, I can see these razors were probably quite popular back in the day. And if they weren't, it was probably down to something like uh, maybe blade cost or that type of thing. Right. Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if you saw that past the camera, but that has got to be a hornet. It's, it's about that big. And this is November. What the hell is going on here? Can you see him on the camera floating around? I'm not really happy with him being in here. I uh, 
I don't want to kill him, but I, I'm, I'm really not happy with him being in here. Oh, what can I do? Nah, missed him, I think. Oh no, he's in the bath. I'll leave him in the, I'll leave him in the bath. I just, that thing was massive. I, uh, I just wasn't happy. <laughs> it fly. I'm not scared of them, but... Uh, if you look on the top of the wood frame there of the door, you can see a mark there. That's another one. Come on. It's, it's November. Things like that shouldn't be flying around now. Just gonna put more water into this. Bet you've never seen a... Uh, that happened before on uh, a YouTube shaving channel. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not a wuss, I'm not scared of him, but I think... Huge! He's crawling around above here. See the lump there? That spots us. I'm sure he'll be up and flying around again soon. Yeah, I just turned around there. This buzz was like a, a helicopter. <laughs> I'm thinking I might uh, have this as a. 1,500 1, euro, euros <laughs> subscribers giveaway. I mean, it's not. We have masses of money. It's like vintage fishing tackle. It's only really of value to somebody who is interested in collecting said items. I went up before there, so that's down. Yeah, there, yeah. Looks like we've got a little tiny outbreak of uh, spots together on the jawline. Can't think why. Maybe what soap did I use last time on video? Oh no. Off video, I've uh, been using alcohol. Yeah, I use cheap stuff when I'm not on, on uh, video. That feels good. That feels good. Slipness is doing well. Steve Tinter, that's who makes this brush from Alpha Shade Works. I knew it would come to eat eventually. Lava's thinning up a little there now. Squeeze some to the end of the brush. Squeeze the base of the brush. Lava should come up from the base. Yeah, I'm gonna wet the lava. Because I am obsessed. 
of having a wet lava. Get it nice and wet for this final and ultimate pass. Sorry if this is going on for a bit. Oh, there he is. He's crawled up the side of the bath now, so uh, he's not dead. <laughs> Please, just don't fly off while I'm doing this. Because he'll be after me now. Okay, against the grain. So I'm not overly confident with the blade against the crane because I don't know how it's going to wear. I don't know how vicious it is. Please sirens outside and we're in the middle of nowhere. Taking a fair bit of work against the moustache. What we're getting at? Would I, what would I rate this razor as? It'd be hard to do. Uh, Certainly wouldn't call it aggressive, but as you can see, it's uh, biting me a little bit here. Mid aggressive. Little bit of care needed when handling, perhaps. fun to use and I've got another fun razor on the way to me it's coming from Dave Card another vintage and that's gonna be the uh, Rolls razor I've still got to watch Dave's video right we're done cold water rinse Hot water doesn't want to drain away. What a hotel. What a hotel. Bit of a sting on the skin. Now those little decap spots. Stop uh Bleeding. I'll be happy jappy. Sorry for looking around you. <laughs> but if I look directly at you, I just can't see any of the mirror, so uh, I have to look around you. Hmm, what do you say? A stick thick pencil. I've got one here somewhere, I think. Just finding the bugger. Definitely one here somewhere. See when you travel? Boy, it's so hard. No, that's blades. Tell you what, I'll just use an Allen block. Give it a wet. Okay. 
Pack up a sting there on the chin. Alan Block's doing a good job of uh, spreading the blood. In fact, we'll go for the full Alan test. Yeah, I've got a heck of a stingy neck here. Is it stingy neck, not stinky neck? Go, oh, get back down in that bath, you. Go on, shut off. Oh, you flew off there. Me and the bee. What's that? Mr. Bean, isn't he? The Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> hey, not much sting on the face. Let's get that rinse off. See, it wasn't on the camera that Alan would stay on until it dried before putting the splash on. He's fully recovered, he has. Right, let's get a splash on. Let's get the splash on, before I go to dinner. Goes the mashing, matching, matching, after shave splash. <sighs> Tight restrictor. Gee, that's a burn and a half. That's a good burn. That's a good burn. Right. Quickly did a recap. God, he's huge. He is huge. Okay. The razor for today was the vintage gem razor. First use in there. A brand new gem blade. The soap for today was Phoenix and Bolt interlinked. Also, that I had the matching aftershave splash. You smell it? It's good, isn't it? And the brush for today was the UK Wet Shaving Society Alpha Brush Works shaving brush made by Steve Tinter. Oh, I used the Allen Block, which you don't see me use now and again. you only see me use now and again. Okay, fellas, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, I, I was going to say enjoy the rest of your weekend, but it's going to be late, 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 late Sunday when you see this. So what I'm going to say is enjoy the weekend. Stay safe. Take care. I'll see you all further down the line, guys. Bye bye now.